Are you thinking of moving to Portland and want to know what it's like to live in Southeast Portland? Well, in this video, I'm going to be taking you up and down Southeast Division Street, starting at one end and going all the way to the other. This is the absolute best part of Southeast Portland to live in and to explore. I'm so excited to show it to you, so stick around. We love making these videos for you and showing you the good and the bad of Portland. But even more than that, we absolutely love connecting with people and actually helping them make the transition up here and ultimately buy their dream home. People reach out to us all the time and we love it, so don't be shy. Just look down below this video in the description or in the comments and you will find all the contact information you need to get a hold of us. All right, before we head out, here's what we're gonna be covering in this video. I'm gonna be showing you some of my my favorite places to eat up and down Division Street, as well as some amazing hidden gems and local businesses. We're also going to walk through some of the residential neighborhoods and take a look at some current listings so we can give you a good feel for the neighborhood and also help you understand how much it's going to cost to get into this neighborhood. And it wouldn't be a neighborhood tour without checking out an amazing park in the area. That said, let's hit the streets. All right, here we are cruising west on Southeast Division from about 50th Avenue. Now, Division continues eastbound all the way to Gresham, which is a suburb of Portland. But we're going west right now to about 11th Avenue because there's some good stuff over there that I really want to show you. So here we are. At there's some super nice shops and restaurants, but my favorite sandwich shop in Portland is Baker's Mark. It's right there. Amazing sandwiches, little pro tip. If you happen to be moving from LA, it's just like Bay Cities in the best way. There are also a few food carts over on the other side of the street here, a good brunch spot, some shops. There's also Pine Street Biscuits, which is a pretty popular spot. What you're gonna wanna know about this intersection though of 11th and Division is to watch out for big trains. There's train tracks right down 11th, and if you cross Division when a big train is coming, there's nowhere to escape. There's some huge mile long freight trains that roll very slowly into Portland and can cause delays at this intersection up to 20 to 30 minutes sometimes. Luckily here, it was just a little max train. Choo choo. So here we are on a, another part of Division, Southeast Division Street. This is Southeast Division and Southeast 21st Avenue. Uh, I just kind of wanted to stop here to show you around. There's some new construction about this particular location of Division. It borders on a really cool, unique neighborhood called Lads Edition, which I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video. Maybe I'll make another video about it at some point, but right here is kind of where Lad's Edition starts. But right here on the corner, there's a really cool bar called Double Barrel, New Seasons in the background, Nosa Famila Coffee. And then on the other side of the street over here is a few different restaurants. There's a sushi spot and also one of the absolute best pizza that I've ever had probably in my entire life. It's called Scotty's Pizza. You also have a vintage clothing store and we are just steps away from the first listing that I'm gonna show you and I can't wait to show it to you because you're gonna absolutely love it. Before we do, Nuestra Cocina. It's a really great restaurant, super fancy Mexican food. Let's go check out that first listing right around the corner this way, about two blocks. All right, here we are at this first listing. It's, it's this one right here behind me. This is a three bed, two and a half bath, very beautiful 2026 square foot craftsman style home. That was built in 2003. It was listed for 878,000 and was only on the market for 11 days before the seller accepted an offer. So I would imagine it was a 
pretty strong offer. We won't know for sure how strong until the deal closes though. This house is one block from a really great part of Division Street, but it's also one block to Clinton Avenue, which is the east to west neighborhood Greenway. It's really obvious that the owners took good care of that house. And even though it's relatively new compared to other homes in the area, it was updated accordingly with you know, beautiful quartz countertops in the kitchen. You got granite countertops in the primary bathroom, hardwood floors throughout the home. You got your built-in seating areas. And don't forget about that huge covered front porch to enjoy rain or shine. Once again, that home is pending currently for 878,000. And I'll imagine it will close within 5% of that. So. Hopefully that should give you a pretty good idea of what your money can get you in the eight to 900,000 range right here in inner Southeast Portland, close to division, close to the Greenway. Doesn't get much better than that. So just to give you a brief history about Division Street, it wasn't always a happening street like it is now. In fact, it was one of the last streets in Southeast Portland to become developed like this. So streets like Belmont and Stark and even Hawthorne were established long before Southeast Division was. In the early part of the 1900s, it was still actually very rural territory. It wasn't originally called Division Street. It was called Section Line Road because it basically was a long road that divided large sections of land. So that is where the name Division came from. Believe it or not, there even used to be an airport on Division Street called Troes Airport or Division Street Airport and you know after the Second World War there was a pretty dramatic change on Division Street and in the greater Portland area many public transit lines started popping up and more businesses and residential homes were built over the decades and gradually over time Southeast Division became what it is today so right here we're actually a little bit farther up on Division where at 30th and Division, Southeast 30th. And I would say it is, this is pretty much the heart of Southeast Division. It's pretty densely packed with businesses from here all the way up to about 39, also known as Cesar Chavez. There's just so many great places to eat and shop right here. This is Bollywood Theater, a really good uh, Indian place, you can get your hair cut across the street at Rudy's. There's tight tacos and just a long row of stores right here that you can shop at. It's pretty mixed use, so on the, on the ground floor you're gonna have shops and stores like this and up above you're gonna have residential spots where people live. So it's a super walkable neighborhood and just one block over in either direction, you're gonna see that really classic Southeast Portland neighborhood with all those super old early century homes. So if you're checking out Division Street, you have to stop in at Blue Star Donuts. There's a few of these around Portland and they are some of the most high-end donuts I've ever had. The popular spot to try here in Portland is Voodoo Donuts, which are good classic style, but these are much more gourmet. I got this powdered orange cake donut, which was just unreal. That's like the best powdered donut ever. All right, here we are at this other listing. This one's a little bit farther. It's right behind me here. It's a little bit farther to the east on Division and we are now one block to the north of Division and a couple blocks to the west of 39th Avenue. We're looking at a three bed, one bath, 1800 square foot home that sold for 606,000. This little bungalow has tons of natural light coming in, a mix of hardwood and vinyl floors throughout. You've also got the partially finished basement with an extra bedroom downstairs. This home is actually sold and it's sold with all the new updates, new HVAC, new roof, new windows, new siding, new electrical. 
Not sure about the choice in flooring in the kitchen, but hey, to each their own, right? Uh, this is mostly just to give you an idea of what types of property you might be able to find for what amount of money, you know? The location here is amazing because you can just walk to Division. Division is right back there, uh, just about a block up. Many great spots, including Blue Star Donuts, Salt and Straw, um, Loretta Jean Pie Place. Okay, I realize I'm naming <laughs> all the unhealthy options, but there's a lot of choices here in this area within just a few blocks. There's food carts, restaurants, breweries, cafes, and it's close to several bus lines that you can take uh, north to south or east to west. So this area is a great place to live and it's actually close by to where I live. All right, so here we are right around 49th and this is the third section of division we looked at. The first one was right between 11th and 26th or so. Then the next section where it was kind of the heart of division was 30th on up to 39th and this is a little bit farther to the east and it's just a little bit quieter here and more laid back. There's a bike shop right behind me. Good coffee. That's what it's called is good coffee. And yes, their coffee is very good. It's right over there. There's a French bakery right over here and uh, the light right up ahead is Southeast 50th Avenue and That'll take you on down to Powell or back up to Hawthorne, Belmont area. A little bit farther down division this way is Stump Town, Stump Town Coffee, excuse me. And right down this street here is where we're gonna take a look at the next listing. So let's head on over there. All right, this right here is about as good as it gets for this neighborhood. I mean, it's crazy how perfect this house is right here. It's the perfect combination of classic and modern, and it's not surprising to me that it sold in only five days. It's currently pending, and it was listed at a price of 949500 And know that once again, this specific home is no longer available. This is mostly intended to show you what, you what your money can get you here in this part of Southeast Portland along this stretch of Division Street. So it's a four bed, three and a half bath, 2,626 square feet. You're a block from some great spots on Division Street. It's an amazing neighborhood to walk around in, but you know, I'm kind of biased because I do it every day. I live right around the corner from here. It's a less than five minute drive to Mount Tabor Park from here. There's a brew pub, a few bars, a convenience store. The best Ethiopian place in Portland is right around the corner and there's some cafes and food carts. I love this little stretch of Portland. And so now let's just head up to Mount Tabor since it's just a quick drive away. So as I'm driving up here to Mount Tabor Park, if you've been enjoying this content and you want to continue to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Or if you don't want to make that kind of commitment yet, I understand. Just go ahead and smash that like button so that YouTube knows to recommend this video to other lovely people like you. All right, I'm just pulling into Mount Tabor, so let's check it out. All right, so now we are in Mount Tabor Park. This is the very top of Mount Tabor Park. I might sound a little bit winded because I had to hike all the way to the top. It's uh, at the peak here. It's about 630 feet in elevation. So you've got some pretty scenic views all around. Looking to the west, you can pretty much see all of Portland. Looking to the east, you can see Mount Hood on a clear day. The entire park is 190 acres and there's miles of trails that go all the way around. So this is such a great spot to come and hang out on a hot day. It's even cooler up here than it is down at the bottom just because of the elevation. This is just the top. There's, you know, an area for the kids to play at. So yeah, thanks for watching. Check out one of these videos right here if you want to keep doing some more research on Portland. Thanks for watching.